Uh, so we've got a new president, and uh, a lot of people are very excited about that, uh, one way or another. And uh, they're asking, how much can he really change everything? The president can do a great deal when the country is united behind that person, and when the Congress is in support of that president. Now, that doesn't always have to mean that the Congress is controlled by the president's party. But, as a rule, the main determinant of whether a president is going to get a lot done, it's going to depend on that president's relationship with Congress. Now, why do I say that? The first article of the Constitution is all about Congress. It never mentions the president until we get to Article 2. And even when we do get to the president in Article 2, it's all about how he is subservient to the laws passed by Congress. His job is to carry those laws out. His job is not to make the laws. And when people start to ask, wait a minute, is this really the best way to make federal policy, to have a president and then to have a two-part Congress, House and Senate, that don't have to agree with each other? And if they don't agree with each other, they can't pass any bills because the Constitution says they must get out of the House and Senate in identical form? Is that really the best way to do a government? Not if you want efficiency. Not if you want ease of use. Not if you want something that seems to make sense. But that's not what the framers wanted. So they gave us a machinery that, even when it stops working, may be doing its job. So yes, the president has a tremendous amount of power. Yes, the president has the power over the military. Yes, the president has the nuclear codes. And yes, the president has the power to propose what he would like to do. But it's ultimately up to Congress whether or not he gets to do it. And they can push back at any point on any of these policies and have, if you will, the last word. You can't appropriate money without Congress doing it for you. So to sum up, the framers of the Constitution, very interested in a balance of power, very interested in restraining power within the executive branch, within the legislative branch, and between the branches as well. Uh, one always wonders what they would make of where that's gone 230 years later.